Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks, and I just did a couple of videos on how to put something inside of uh, an object with an interactive fill tool. And if you're not using it, if you were drawing a house, you know, on the side of the roof, would that not be a good shingle for the roof? That's actually the fish scale. But just take you an object, any size, you know, rectangle, square. Let's zoom in here. And go to right here to the interactive fill, which you can also hotkey G. And go down to post grips. And that's the default. But look at all these that you could do. I mean, mesh. I don't know how long it would take you to draw that. Patio. Um, reptile. You know, that's Tesla. Um, spider web. That's cool. I mean, that would take you uh, quite a long time to draw. It gives you some really good effects. Bricks, there's the side of the house, there's your roof. And then like in the other video, you can make them uh, bigger, bigger bricks. And there's a lot of things you can do with it here from here. Press OK and you've got bricks. Um, and also in an interactive field, you've got bars. Um, I don't know how that would engrave. Most of my stuff I'm doing for, is for engraving. Uh, you know, some of this stuff I, I don't even know what it you know is, so you'd have to really look at it. Uh, but you could play around with it, use it into uh, you know logos. Now there's also two-part color fields. They're not as nice and sharp. I think, but there's some things that that would take you a little while to draw, and you can also probably edit it. Well, maybe you can't edit in the two part. Anyway, some pretty cool effect with the interactive fill tool. There's a basket weave design. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.